Python, Flat, Firebase. We're using an open source module to code a responsive UI backed by a real-time database. This notes application features user registration, a login page, and a dashboard with proper security rules that allow the user to create, read, update, and delete notes stored in the database. With this model, we do not have to rent a server as the client's application does all the heavy lifting and the database is hosted for free on Firebase. When we edit the notes in the app, we instantly see it update on the Firebase console. Firebase also handles authentication for us so that each user only has access to their own notes. Let's set it up. After starting a Firebase app, go to your project settings and grab your config here and put it in your config.py. Edit your real-time database rules so that authorized user tokens are required to access their space. Firebase 4 is an open source Python wrapper to access the Firebase API. We'll use it for authentication and database actions. Here we see how our child methods matches our database rules while our notes are nested one step lower, each with their own unique ID. We choose to wrap this wrapper with our own class for abstraction. We did not inherit the Firebase class to avoid any naming collision. Here is how we create, read, update, and delete our notes. Stream data updates the UI when the data is updated in the console. We use this helper function to store the auth token at the client's platform and these functions to deal with registration and authorization. Now for the UI, we start our virtual environment, git tracking on the main branch, and pip install flat in Firebase 4. We give some placeholders to initialize our main page window and open it with the flatmain.py command. For project structure, I place the UI views, binary assets, database control, and custom user controls in their own spaces. The database directory is where our previously discussed config and Firebase wrapper files go. Views contains the main login page as index, the registration page, the notes dashboard, and the router logic. The flat router is largely borrowed from my previous video explaining an example router class for flat. We import our views, assign them to routes, and implement logic for swapping views. We start with the skeleton of our index view. We need functions to take care of the sign in and register buttons while handling errors. We assign those controls to variables and place them in the flat column, which is returned inside a dictionary read by the flat router. We use the custom check token to automatically redirect to the dashboard. A red snack bar message appears when the user inputs invalid data. If you're following along, you'll have to comment out these undefined pages to see your progress in the flat window, which should look like this. We add this image and reload the app. The handle sign in function uses our Firebase wrapper to sign in and pushes us to the dashboard if successful. The register function just reroutes us. As you can see, the register view is a lot of the same except for how it communicates with the database, which simply calls functions defined in the Firebase wrapper. I choose to comment out confirm email password fields for this tutorial, but you should use those in production. Firebase tells us whether an email or password meets minimum requirements. Before building the dashboard view, we build a note class which is a child of the flat user control class. To preview it, we build a flat page with a single note in it. We add some parameters to initialize some properties to fill the note and associate it with its place in the database. We must use super.init to pass our custom data. The build method is required to return a single control or list of controls to paint to the UI, so we use a flat car. We add all our handlers. Our most complex is the alert dialog modal, a flat control. It has a text field, title, and a few icon buttons with handlers that we will define. Upon clicking the note, the dialog opens. The handlers do what their names say, and for fun, I added a copy text handler that fires page.set clipboard and pops up its own snack bar. Let's slow down for the dashboard view. Here we destroy previous instances of notes and fetch all the notes from the database. 
We step through the JSON and use each note entry to initialize a note object and add it to our list of notes on the page. To update the page when the database is actually updated, we rebuild the notes only if the handle stream function fires. Finally, we kill the stream when we log out as not to cause note duplication. Otherwise, our dashboard is similar to the other two views. With that, we should have our fully functioning notes app. Check out the GitHub repo in the description. Leave any questions or requests in the comments.